What's up guys, it's Larry the Mortgage Guy, your sales instructor. And today I'm going to talk about recycling, okay? What I learned is that when you make content that you can recycle, you will not only make your life a lot easier, but you will save yourself a lot of time and energy. What I mean by that is create content that, that you know you can share at a later time or a later date or in a different audience. So, I try not to make videos that are too specific to one audience. I try not to talk about the date or time or, you know, oh, it's Columbus Day or it's Christmas. Or, I try not to do that because I want to be able to share this video as if it's, the fir it's fresh any day of the week, any day of the month, any day of the year. Now, obviously, there's going to be a few things like, you know, if it's if you're really cold and you're wearing like a parka or whatever, it might not match up but the truth of the matter is it, that really doesn't matter it's more about being able to keep the content seeming fresh and new right and once you learn how to do that properly you can save this video or asset or whatever whatever content you have and share it at a later time or like I said in a, a different audience right uh, how do you do that well I actually have two secrets, and they're not really secrets, but they're two things that I do religiously to make sure I have a management of my digital assets. Number one, I will save my posts. So there's a little, uh, I think you're watching it from my perspective, there's a little like divot or an arrow right here. If you click it, it'll give you uh, options to save, share, whatever, and one of them says save. If you save it, it actually becomes like a bookmark and then you can go into your uh, home page and you'll see uh, an area that says saved posts or saved videos and you click it and you see all the stuff that you saved in the past right? it's particularly useful when you have a video or you have a post that gets a lot of engagement I mean, a lot of people liked it a lot of people shared it because if you do save it and let's say you go back to it six months later if you happen to comment or like or say something on that post, it will actually reignite the post and bring it back up into the newsfeed. All the people that liked and engaged uh, on that post will get a notification, and you literally brought that post back from the grave. Okay. Uh, the second thing that I do in order to uh, recycle and save and manage my post is I will actually share it to a private group that I created just for me. That means I have a group where the only member is me. Okay, and. I will share it in that group because that way I can remember and always uh, basically share from that group to wherever, however you want to do it. But it's kind of like my little uh, trick, my little storage area because I'm not going to remember every single post that I post and it's a bitch to go back and try to search it. So I literally just put it there knowing that's important and if I want to go back to post and you know recycle, then I will go there. Another thing about sharing posts in the audience, you don't want to like share the same post five times to five different audience where there might be uh, cross membership. Meaning if you share five times to five different groups and the same groups, all those groups have the same audience, you're going to piss off and annoy a lot of people. Trust me, I do it all the time. Uh, it's, not, it's not beneficial, right? So kind of stagger it you know share it into this group today and the next week share it in the other group and then the next week share it in another group i know that's a lot of work but if you're managing your assets correctly like i just presented to you guys it should be a little bit easier uh, and if it's worth sharing then you will be motivated to share it right so yeah learn to recycle your posts and your assets trust me it will make a life a lot easier it'll bring more value and uh, you know, instead of just a one-shot post you made, now you can make a post that's a kind of a regularly played program, right? You guys have any questions? This is Larry the Mortgage Guy, your sales instructor. I'm out.